The motor repair industry has undergone radical changes over the past decade. The best facilities have embraced newly developed and ever-evolving technology, as well as advanced repair practices that have increased reliability and added years of life to every repaired motor. This progress has helped the industry deliver a better product, but the motor repair process is still ripe with challenges. Any motor repair shop can put their best face forward and tout the easy successes. But when a project presents unexpected challenges, especially under emergency conditions, this is when the character of the people behind the repair matters the most. Trey Fuels is a wood pellet production facility located in Southern Virginia. The mill processes hardwood and softwood logs and pulp into compressed pellets which are sold for fuel in business and residential applications. The mill produces more than 10,000 tons of these pellets per month. At the heart of the mill is a 2,500 horsepower synchronous motor. Its job is to grind entire logs, and it's one of the most brutal of all motor applications. In December of 2014, this motor failed. The entire mill came to a halt, leaving the Trey Fuels team with two immediate challenges. Quickly locate a shop that could handle the repair and minimize the downtime, and confirm that the motor could be fully restored with an expected life cycle of at least 20 years. The team chose Eco to take on this critical job based on their long experience with synchronous and wound rotor repair, as well as their ability to coordinate large industrial projects. The chipper motor weighed over 50,000 pounds, and compounding this challenge was its location, requiring that the entire roof of the chipper house be removed. Eco coordinated crane operations on site, as well as the complete removal of the motor. Testing revealed several modes of failure, requiring a complete rewind of both the stator and rotor. There was also considerable bearing and mechanical failure. With a pressing timetable and an extensive scope of work, Eco assigned separate teams to the stator and rotor repair. Each team worked round-the-clock schedules to get the job done and get tray fuels up and running again. But sometimes, things don't always go as planned. As the repair was nearing completion, a problem was found in the rotor, bringing the entire job to a halt. Routine testing after the rewind revealed a potential problem in the stator. While the test met the ESA recommended surge testing levels, they were lower than the threshold used by ECO. With this motor being such a critical component of their business, ECO contacted the Trey Fuels team and alerted them of the potential problem. Working through the night, a very subtle issue was found in a lead connection and corrected raising the test performance to beyond ECO's higher threshold. The repair process took 32 days to complete and ECO reinstalled the motor in January of 2015. The motor was restored to full duty, passing all required acceptance tests. About three months after startup, a tray fuels technician noticed what he described as an odd odor. The motor protective relay tripped, taking the motor offline and ECO was again on site inspecting the motor. However, all static tests indicated a healthy winding. The ECO team stayed with the motor and collected data over the course of two months. The investigation determined that the motor base and foundation, after years and years of wear, was allowing the motor to shift slightly. The ECO team corrected the motor base issue and restored the motor again to full duty, where it continues to perform to this day. When selecting a motor repair vendor, it's obviously important to evaluate them for their capability and best practices. But the difference between success and failure on this job was ultimately the character of the people involved. From the initial assessment to the repair and acceptance testing to startup and follow-up, this team stuck with it as long as it took and did whatever it took to ensure the motor performed. That is ECO.